So, I'm getting a dog today. Well, for a little bit. I'm babysitting a dog today. His name's Brutus, and I like Brutus a lot. Let me tell you a fun quick story about Brutus, the last time I babysit him. I was walking him through a neighborhood, and you'll see Brutus is a tiny dog. He's a little guy. So I was walking him around, and I'm kind of a bigger guy. And these guys yelled out to me. They were working on this house. They said, hey, that's a pretty tiny dog for such a big man. And I said, well, you know what they say about big guys with little dogs? They have big hearts. You can use that one if you'd like, if you have a little dog. Triple Threat Trio, Rage Brigade, back together again. So this is Brutus. Don't let his unbelievably cute name fool you. He is vicious. I don't even want to put my hand too close to him. Ah, oh, man. He's wild. Uh, no, he's the sweetest dog ever. But even though he's small, he's still a fighter. I'm going to take this moment to use Brutus as inspiration. Cue the music. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Yeah, that's right. I just used Brutus for a motivational quote. He doesn't mind. Right, Brutus? Right, Brutus? Yeah. On this episode of Cats vs. Dogs... Brutus returns to a home full of cats. Will he survive the day? Do the cats even care he's there? Why is he so much smaller than these cats? All these answers will be revealed on Cats vs. Dogs. On the next Cooking with Matt, join him as he makes his favorite bachelor meal. All you'll need is a pre-made bag of salad, a side of tuna, and a whole lot of love. Cooking with Matt, weekdays around noon. Stay tuned. More Cats vs. Dogs is on the way next. Stalking her prey for a closer look. The wild key comes in. Very close. As the wild beasts do not know what to think as they surround their prey. But he's not frightened. He is not even... Well, he's shaking a little bit. But maybe... Maybe they're starting to respect him. On the next voiceover with Matt, join him as he does some auditions. He doesn't quite give away his secret, but he fills you in on what the secret could be if there was one. Voiceover auditions with Matt, usually around 5 p.m. Check your local listings. All right, so I got a few auditions in that I'm gonna hit right now, and I'll probably do a full video someday on auditioning and my technique, but as for right now, I'm just gonna say, don't be afraid to make some bold choices, because let me let you in on a little secret. They don't really know what they're looking for. They have a general idea, they'll give you specs, but as for what they want the final product to sound like, they don't really know until they hear it. So that's why you audition. So that when they're, the casting people are on the other side listening, they'll hear a voice they like and say, that's the guy. So don't be afraid, again, to make some bold choices, whatever that is for you to stand out. That's what I'm gonna try to do right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is, that face. That natural face, that one we all can't help but make when we bite into something so naturally full of flavor. Stay tuned, more Cats vs. Dogs is on the way next. They have now accepted him into their tribe as Bella lays down to give the international signal of cat trust. Friends for life. Right, Bella? Yes. Someday, Brutus, this land will all be yours. I knew this time would come. Are you sad too? I knew at the end of the day I'd have to give you back, Brutus. No, don't cry. I miss him so much already. Any amount of time we had together today was not enough. See you again soon, Brody.